In the most obvious sense, old world, new world is, refers to Europe and the colonies, if you like. Australia is obviously, from a European perspective, part of the new world, even though it's a very old, old world. It's also an old world and a new world for me in a way, in that I'm revisiting imagery that I was working with 25 years ago. Corrugated iron, that scene, that is a reference in a way to very early work I was doing back in the 80s. I'd fallen upon um, the image of water tanks as a sort of an icon of European classicism and rational thought imposed into a sort of a amorphic and sort of unknown landscape. And here we have it's sort of a, an aftermath of that. That corrugated iron is, is back, but it's, it's sort of shattered. I kept on seeing news photographs of the aftermath of the fires. They reminded me of Paul Nash and English war artist during the First World War. During the Second World War, he was taken to a field of wrecked aircraft, just strewn across the landscape. To his eye, it reminded him of a, of a sea, twisted bits of metal like waves breaking on, on a shore. So the title Totsmere is German for Dead Sea. I borrowed the title, but also the little moon is his moon. And there's in the center of the picture, there's a small wheel from, a, from an aircraft, which I've also lifted from his picture. There's another aspect to the old world, new world, and that's the idea of regeneration. I've been watching the bush and you know, struck by the energy of the regrowth and this epicormic growth pushing out of the burnt bark, this incredible vigor of this sort of almost alien growth that sort of sprouts out of those burnt trees. I tried to paint something, a subject matter is actually quite unfamiliar to me. I certainly wouldn't have attempted something as complex as this 20 years ago when I first started this colour separation picture. That idea of life, death and regeneration is something that's also inherent in a lot of the early Dutch still life. They had a very symbolic and allegoric function. So they're very much about the fleetingness of beauty and the temporality of, of life and the little creatures that are coming in to sort of feast on the rotting fruit and so on. So the, the idea of life cycles is also implicit in these quotes from those old Dutch master paintings. They do have a kind of cinematic proportion. I was always um, in love with the whole experience of sitting in the cinema and having that sort of wide screen sort of envelop you and you kind of almost physically sort of disappear. I think that's behind a lot of my very large paintings, this desire to kind of recreate that sense of being lost in the image. Mortality's been on everybody's minds a little more than it normally is. These are paintings that, that symbolise life and death, but there is an interesting sort of illusion between the beautiful and the monstrous. Some of the large flower works that I've done over the years, flowers are conventional sort of symbols of beauty, but if you make them big enough, um, they can become quite sort of monstrous.